Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Once you have downloaded the folder, open the start folder. I have already opened the Revit file and the Dynamo file which is initially empty. You, are, you will find also an Excel file. Let's open it. For each room, we will look in this Excel file, the department value. Okay, so for instance, for this particular room, Cafeteria 121, the department value is equal to A3. So the Dynamo script will have to look this Excel file, retrieve department value and set to this parameter. So let's jump to Dynamo. File path. Search for an Excel file. File from path. Import Excel. Heat name is equal to room data. Read as string. True. Show Excel. False. The first item is our Excel header. So first let's get rid of this item. So we can use list deconstruct. Deconstruct. So now I am going to build a dictionary. Dictionary makes life easier to filter data. So get item mapping links. Concatenate, concatenate. Latin. So now let's build a dictionary. Dictionary by keys and values. It run. So now we have successfully built the dictionary. Where the key is room name plus room number and the value is department number. Now let's collect the rooms from Revit. Look for a wrong name, a wrong number, concatenate these two values like so x plus y using code block.
now we have these keys and from this dictionary we can easily extract our desired value which is department now look for dictionary dictionary value at key it run perfect as you can see for each room we are filtering data from excel file so easily now just look for set parameter very set parameter by name parameter name is department report man let's hit run I have spelled wrong department hit run again yes as you can see for each room this parameter is filled automatically so let's check our excel and compare the value so for this particular room cafeteria 121 the department value is equal to a3 as you can see in this excel file so we have completed this tutorial